The time has come for Chef Ramsay to taste Christina and Jockey's top four from each of their teams. He will then narrow it down to his top four, and from that, he will pick a winner. Christina. Yes, Chef. The name of your first chef with an outstanding bar dish. It's gonna be Dana with her lobster taco. Dana. Yeah, Dana. Yeah! My taco, number one pick. What's up, ladies? Describe the dish, please. So I did a beer-battered lobster tempura taco. I pan-seared some chorizo in there as well. Wow. Never been a big fan of fried lobster, but you've made that tempura really light. Then that avocado crema just sort of makes it a little bit more royal. So far, the dish to beat. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Jockey. Whose dish from the blue kitchen will I be tasting first? The first dish, Gordon, will be Millie's, and it's a seafood poutine. Yes! It's me versus everybody. Well, let's do this. Describe the dish, please. Uh, well, we have our hand-cut french fries, fried and seasoned, and topped with a lobster cheese sauce. You think of poutine, it's not the most elegant way to start a dinner, but this has to be the most elegant fucking pot of poutine <laughs> anywhere on the planet. <laughs> yes, Chef. But is it better than Dana's? <sighs> it's a tough one. This isn't fancy, that's just cheese fries. This is not gonna be better than my taco, that's for sure. It's better. Ugh. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Wow. Thank you, Billy. Head back. Wow, great start. Christina, the name of the second Chef, in the red kitchen, please. The second one chef is uh, Ashley. Wow, Ashley, let's go. Thank you, Ashley, describe the dish, please. Uh, what I have for you is a polenta cake on the bottom with tequila and lime cilantro marinated shrimp. Uh, visually, it looks beautiful. Thank you, chef. I mean, it's gone above and beyond a bar menu, but I mean, it's creative. Do you know what, Ashley? That is in my top four. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, definitely up there. Good job. Nice job, Ashley. Right, Jockey. Gordon, the second chef is Jared with his seafood dumplings. Jared's dish is going up against mine. Of course it is. They love putting us against each other around here. Seafood dumpling. Describe the dish, please. I have a dumpling stuffed with pork and smoked halibut. That was delicious. But does it beat the polenta? and the poutine. Do you know what, Gerard? It's on par. It's in my top four. Thank you, sir. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I actually pulled this off. Guess who knows how to make dumplings? Christina, the third chef from the red team. Who is it, please? Third chef. I like the lemon pepper wings by Elise. It's Elise's turn to try to make her way into Chef Ramsay's final four. Well. The wings that I made for you today are a Tuscan bar wing. It has Parmesan cheese that also has the herbs of Provence on it. Wow, they are delicious. Love the flavor, love the crispiness. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to swap them out. And I'm going to swap them out with the shrimp. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Good Thank job. You, with only three dishes left to be called forward, Chef Jockey chooses. Gordon, my third chef is Van with the steak tacos. Wow, another taco. Hoping Van's carne asada tacos will be worthy of the final four. Steak is cooked beautifully. Crema, delicious. But they've gone above and beyond with the mushrooms in there as well. Would I want to start off dinner with one of those? Yeah, I would. I'm going to swap your tacos out with the dumpling. Good job. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, Christina, I'm only going to taste one more from the women's team. Um, please let me just be good enough. Please let me just be good enough. Please, please, please. This one was so hard, Chef. Uh, I have to go with Michelle's uh, lobster shrimp sausage. Wow. Okay, uh, describe the dish, please. Okay, so I have my take on a lobster roll. I made a lobster shrimp sausage with a little bit of Asian slaw on there. You know, when you see a lobster roll and it's been steeped in butter and put together roughly, it's unappetizing, but they look beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> Michelle, that is definitely in my top four. 
Good job. Thank you, Chef. Wow. Jockey, who was the final chef you put forward from the blue team? So the last one will be Nick and his crab fritters. I like my food. I think it's good. I was wrong. Uh, wow. Nick, describe the dish, please. Um, chef, you have crab fritters with a lemon chive mayo bacon jam with a little uh, chiffonade scallion. Presentation, beautiful. Let's get that right. Bacon jam on top, exquisite. The one issue I have with those is that they're a touch doughy. But it's definitely not in the top four in front. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thank you, Chef. We've narrowed the pack down to four. I said only one of you will be safe from elimination. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that Chef Ramsay's gonna pick my dish because I really wanna show Chef that I'm better than everyone here. The most outstanding bar dish tonight belongs to. Chef Ramsay, call my name, please. I'm feeling like I got it. I'm feeling like I might have it. I need to win this because I remember season nine first dinner service and everyone was messing up. So that's a huge prize. Damn, this is a tough one. Millie. Ah! <laughs> Millie, well done. Your poutine goes on tonight's menu. First individual competition, little Millie, baby Pepper. I just can't wait to go tell him like, like your dad came out number one. I really wanted to win. Me too. But you know what? I'm happy for him. It's great. I know, but Millie always falls back on what he knows. He made a dish that he's made a thousand times. He yeah. won. I know he won. If he's done it a thousand times and he can win with it, shit. <laughs> you OK, Ben? Your color's off. I'm all off. I'm about to go check my sugar right now. Are you diabetic? Newly, so I'm up and down. Oh, no. I feel like my eyes are sinking in. I'm not feeling yeah, it off. Your, your color is wacky. I'm going to go check my sugar, guys. I'll be back. It sucks that I'm not as healthy as I'd like to be. But tonight, I'll give it 100%, and I'm not going to make a spectacle by falling in the kitchen. Come on, guys. As Ben struggles to keep up. You guys can line up at the pass. The chefs head to their kitchens to start prepping for the night. So Chef Ramsey wanted you to have your knife kits before the first service. You have Zwailing J.A. Henkels, really nice kit. So open up and we got to get started. Yes, yeah, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, chef. <laughs> wow. I still use my knives from when I was on before. And they are that quality. So pretty primo cutlery for myself. Ramsey new. All right, if you're finished looking at your kits, just line up right here for a minute. All right, you know we have service tonight. This menu is bigger than it's ever been in this kitchen, ever. Yes, yeah, Chef. Right now, everyone's kind of freaking out, but we're all stars. Being able to adapt to a new menu in a flash is super important to becoming a head chef. Right, so we're going to start off with the steak tartare. There's about three ounces per portion. Pack it into the ring. Both cold salads, you guys are plating fully. You have the smoking machine here. Does everybody know how to use this? Good. This is a lot to learn in one day. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of shitting my pants. OK, salmon started right down the center of the plate. Six pieces of salmon. We're going to do the scallops, uh, lamb, season, and then we've got a little bit of duck. So the duck, you're going to score yourself. I can't believe all these proteins, all these dishes. This is All Stars. I did not expect a walk in the park. I mean, and this is like a walk through the desert without water. 